The Truth of Girls. Hi, everyone. Today I'd like to talk about laughter, uh, the importance of laughter for, for your health on all levels. If you look at my YouTube channel, you'll see that I have some pretty, you know, serious videos where I'm talking about some serious issues, and I have others which are completely ridiculous. Actually, the, the comedy videos are very important. Uh, they're important for me uh, because uh, they're not a sign of me being crazy. They're actually a way that I help to keep my sanity just through humor. So here's a few articles. One, why laughter is good for mental health breaks cycle of psychological negativity. Uh, laughter helps to think more clearly and have more integrative thoughts. If you're stuck on something, you, you can't get something done, go and have a silly session. You know, go in and do something that'll make you laugh and feel revved up and then come back to your work and see if you don't notice a change. Laughter breaks the cycle of psychological negativity. Sometimes the last thing you want to do is laugh, but uh, if, if you can try to, to get that to happen, yeah, you might find that you'll be fighting negativity a lot less. Laughter and PTSD. I had to look at this article and I'm not sure exactly what they're doing. If, you, if it looks like I'm crying, I'm not crying because I mentioned PTSD. I just actually got a crumb in my throat a second ago. I had to shut the camera off because I was having a coughing fit. But uh, apparently there's a therapy that is using laughter to help people overcome PTSD. Um, personally, I find that laughter is a really great way to diffuse uh, the stress of, of a very negative situation or even a traumatic situation. Uh, it, laugh, laughing and humor can just reroute you into a totally different direction. It apparently can even reroute the connectivity in your brain so that you no longer experience an emotional memory but a memory of an emotion. Okay, now here's a, a study, it was called uh, Tickling Rats for Science. Now they found out that some rats really like to be tickled and they even laugh. And here's something interesting, the researchers did find a significant correlation between laughter during tickling and hippocampal neurogenesis. That's interesting because, as, I'm, as I've mentioned in my other videos on adrenal fatigue, a lot of stress, a lot of cortisol damages the hippocampus, and this is the part of your brain that's responsible for cortisol uh, regulation and also for the formation of memories. And damage to the hippocampus is a, a factor in things like Alzheimer's disease. Neurogenesis means that new neural connections are being formed, so that's really great that laughter can help neurogenesis in the hippocampus. That was a study on rats, but here's one on humans, laughter and music better than drugs for dementia patients. To sum it up, they found that using laughter therapy had such great benefits that the, the people didn't need a lot of these psych drugs anymore. I mean, it was as effective, maybe better, than stuff like uh, Risperdal and antidepressants. They had improved well-being and behavior, but also some of them started to do things they couldn't do before. Said we had a woman who was totally nonverbal who started to have conversations with staff and her family. They explained here the connection between neuroplasticity and laughter therapy, that how laughing can actually help form new, new connections in your brain. And they mentioned that it wasn't just the laughter itself, it was also the social interaction. What it did was it served as a way to connect socially. Patients suffering from dementia experience a significant loss of synaptic transmission, so there's losing connections in their brain. Laughter therapy works by enhancing long-term potentiation in these parts of the brain. This is because the therapy encourages social interaction, which has been shown to be one of the most powerful influences on neuroplasticity. So it's not just the laughter itself, as in sit down and, and watch something funny, but the laughter that you get when you laugh with another person. Personally, I find that laughter is a really great way to connect with people. And I think that when I make my funny videos, this is actually my way of connecting with you. Because it's not just me making the video, it's you watching it. You're the other half of this equation. You know, you're 50% of it. And you're not just watching, you're also commenting. So it goes both ways. And I guess I do this so it's a way of like reaching out to you and connecting with you. No offense, but you look gross. That's funny. So I would encourage you to try to connect with people through humor and uh, to, to, to try to access your sense of humor and don't be afraid to get silly and look crazy because in fact, you're not crazy and it will not make you crazy, it will actually make you healthier, 
your thinking will be clearer, your state of mind, your mood, everything will be better. So thanks for listening to me and thanks for giving me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching my silly videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.